When will Putin start a nuclear war? It's time to talk. Let's start with the news that Russia will deploy tactical nuclear weapons on the territory of Belarus. Putin is once again threatening the world with nuclear war. Why is this important? And what is the dictator planning? If you look at the map, Belarus is located near other Russian military bases with nuclear weapons. Therefore, this deployment has no tactical significance, especially considering that Russia has good missiles for delivering nuclear warheads. So distance is not a crucial factor. Hence, this deployment has no strategic significance. If there is no military significance in this action, then it is a political decision. Putin continues to scare us with the threat of nuclear war. Here, it is important to draw your attention to the fact that Putin is scaring us. There is a difference between scaring and doing. When he wants to act, he does not waste time on threats and compromises. He simply attacked Ukraine on February 24th, without fear of consequences, particularly from the West. Thus, when Putin is not afraid, he does not waste time on threats, but simply takes action. Putin is not daring to push the red button because he is afraid of the consequences. He simply threatens, knowing that Western society is democratic and politicians have to take public opinion into account. It is very easy to scare the population. Fear turns into pressure on politicians and calls to stop aiding Ukraine to avoid escalation. A very simple and logical plan. Putin is losing the war because the West has been more decisive and supported Ukraine. Ukrainians did not surrender, unlike Afghans. So, why not use a nuclear bomb to win the war and end it? The answer is simple. There is no such point where a nuclear bomb can be dropped to win the war. If there were such a point, then the Russians could have achieved it with conventional weapons. The caliber missile is a high-precision and powerful weapon in Russia's arsenal. If one nuclear bomb could solve military goals, then the Russians would have sent 50 calibers there and ended the war. However, such a point does not exist. Therefore, the version of a nuclear attack to win the war against Ukraine is invalid. Is Putin a fanatic or is he sick and wanting to destroy the world? While I cannot say for sure whether Putin falls under either of these categories, I do have an argument as to why these reasons may not hold. If Putin was indeed a fanatic or sick individual fighting for the rights of Russians against the West, then there would be no better reason for him to start a nuclear war than the prospect of Finland joining NATO. However, given the current situation, it seems unlikely that Putin's actions are driven by such fanaticism or a desire to take everyone to the other world. Here is a map to illustrate this point. Take a look at Ukraine, which has not yet joined NATO, and Finland, which has already begun the process. If Putin were truly a fanatic, then it would be logical for him to launch a nuclear attack against Ukraine in response to this threat. However, as we can see, this has not happened, which suggests that Putin's actions are not motivated by such extreme beliefs. Another possible reason for a nuclear war could be Putin's fear of losing to Ukraine, which could potentially lead to him lashing out in desperation. However, this also seems unlikely, given that Putin has taken steps to avoid such a scenario. For example, in order to stay in power, Putin has been selling energy resources to India at a low price and has become increasingly dependent on China's patronage. By doing so, he has essentially prepared the opportunity to lose to Ukraine. However, when Putin inevitably falls into China's hands, she will not allow him to start a nuclear war. Why? Simply put, China has no interest in creating chaos in the world. If she were not afraid of chaos, he would have annexed Taiwan long ago. However, since he has not done so, it can be inferred that China follows the common rules of the game, and a nuclear war does not fit into that framework. To sum up, it seems that Putin is simply using scare tactics to deter the West from helping Ukraine. 